This is a demo showcasing a blockchain IoT security use case using the Zigbee IoT stack. This process is widely applicable to security and hospitality applications and increases the efficiency and security of access control while also maintaining the total privacy of the user or guest. So let's walk through the process and a simple use case. First, we have to start with credentials. Credentials are initially created by an authority, such as the government. The credential in this example consists of basic information, such as a name and birth date. Think of it as a license or passport. Upon issuance, this credential is signed by the authority using a key that is rooted on the blockchain. This allows us to use the blockchain as a source of trust later on for storing public information, such as the issuer's public keys. Here you can see the initial credentials issuance process. Notice how fast and simple it is to create a new set of credentials and to create a secure connection between devices using a simple barcode. Then, in order to gain access to something, in this case, our hotel minibar, the prover connects to the gateway or verifier via a public key. The gateway then requests a proof from the prover who sends back a zero knowledge proof. For instance, the proof verifies that the person is old enough to access the minibar, but does not tell you their age. Here you can see the whole system. The small white box is the gateway, the black box is the lock we will be operating, and an indicator light bulb is on the left. First, we create a connection between the prover and verifier. The prover gets a public key from the gateway and fulfills the proof request from the verifier. You can now see from our indicator light that the user's proof has been verified and the box will unlock. In a situation such as our minibar example, it is likely that we would want to grant repeat access to the user. You can see here that the user can use their existing credential to unlock the minibar without repeating the issuance process, just as you would with a real world ID or passport. If the credential doesn't match the proof request, in this case, if the user is too young, the app will generate no proof and the user will simply see an error message. It is important to remember that the zero knowledge proof is not the same as the user's credential and it does not disclose all of the information about the prover, but only the required information. In this case, it's sufficient to prove that the user is old enough to access the minibar, but their exact age, name, and birthday will not be disclosed. This system allows for access control without interface between the prover and authority. The zero knowledge proof can be verified by the verifier, in this case the minibar, via the blockchain without direct communication with the issuer. The issuer or authority can even be offline and the verification will still work. This way, the user can be granted secure access without ever disclosing any of their private information. Visit our website today and let us know how DSR can help you come up with a solution for your product or company. Thank you.